Hey folks, welcome back to Midwest Long Range. Today, we're going to talk about my shooting bag, the Gecko 2 from Black Branch Shooting Sports. So stick with me, we're going to talk all about it. Alright folks, this is my shooting bag, the Black Branch Shooting Sports Gecko 2. Uh, I have been shooting these bags for the past couple of years. That's my original one sitting right there with the CZ. This is the one I use today the most often. This is the kind of newer, more updated version of this. When you get these bags, you know, they've got the canvas size. You can get them in all kinds of colors. They also have the Tough Tech material and several different options of fill and color combinations and any, even combinations of fill. And just to kind of give you a heads up, the bags do come overfilled, but they have some pretty cool velcro uh quick fill deals on the end here so that you can let some out and you can really personalize it to the fit and function that you want it to serve right not everybody's a prs guy or positional you know you may want it for different reasons i'm not saying that this is the most perfect end all be all bag on the market ever i'm not that guy uh we're gonna be honest about this I haven't used a bag yet that didn't have a shortcoming in some way, shape, or form. Whether it was a wee bed, an Armageddon gear, a black branch, etc. Like these bags here have a stress point. The way we stretch them over, say, tank traps or other obstacles, uh, they tend to have a failure sometimes here in the apex. I've talked to the owner over at Black Branch. He is working on a remedy for that. He's really good about getting with us and seeing what's happening and seeing what needs to change in the industry. So big shout out to those guys on that. We're going to go ahead and use the DIY CZ and we're going to run this bag right here off the tank trap in a few different locations so that I can highlight to you some of the reasons why I use this bag. And if we see any shortcomings, we'll jump right in on that too. So let's do this. We're going to start taking a couple shots off of the points. I'm not going to guarantee you that I'm going to hit a whole lot today. I haven't shot this gun in a while. Bag went up good. Gun went down solid. It did have a little bit of a bounce in it. Two for two there. Now that's off a point. Let's go maybe midway on the arm here. The Tough Tech seems to grab pretty good, which that's one one thing I really do like about it. Now the bag kind of smushed. That may be just be some of the fill I'm using. Mm. Oh, I missed that one. Now we're gonna come back here to the middle. Now this one should be the most more simplest and straightforward of the bunch. Ooh. Oh, almost. So in that position, bag does really well, which most bags would. Where this bag's gonna shine with the Tough Tech is out on the point. Because if you look at that, the Tough Tech just kind of grabs a hold of everything, doesn't really want to let go. The only thing I will say is, watch as the rifle comes down. A little bit of bounce right there. We'll try a different grip on the bag. There we go. Oh, and I missed it. I will say I think I'm a little steadier. I'm using the, the tank trap to brace my leg against. But I'm grabbing the front of the bag and I'm kind of hooking the front of the stock. And I'm kind of applying some pressure back into me. I don't know if that's quote unquote politically correct or not but it seems to work for me all right guys so we're down here on the cattle panel we're going to try this on a piece of round pipe this is where some bags tend to have a little bit of difficulty i've had real good luck out of the gecko too let's see how this goes so we're up there solid rifle comes up feeling pretty good about that so far would help if I probably adjust my dope. So, as you can see, I don't have a lot of movement or anything. The bag really grips well. You can kind of see as the the uh, legs of it kind of come cinched together. Hole give me a nice flat top surface area to shoot off of. Another thing I've seen guys do with bags in this situation 
is in order to get more surface area, if they're getting too much forward and backwards tilt out of it, they'll turn the bags upside down in some cases. And that gives you a lot more surface area here. So let's see how that goes. So throw the bag back up there. I don't know that I can tell a lot of difference, but there we go. Works just as good. I don't know. I don't know if I see it, but maybe this gun just isn't heavy enough to give us what we need to make that a more stable platform. It may work better with a heavier rifle. This rifle's not very heavy at all. All right, guys, I appreciate you hanging in there with me. We're talking, like I said, we were gonna do shooting bags today. I just wanted to show you how I use the Gecko 2 on the tank trap off of a cattle panel, how it's tough tech material really pinches together in there and holds pretty good. But like I said, there's no such thing as the perfect product, right? It's got its shortcomings just like any of the other ones do. This is what I like to use for reasons. I like the sticky material. I'm very comfortable with the platform. I've used it for a long time now, and it is just my, that my bag of preference. So I know for a fact that Black Branch is working on improving all of these products. Great group of folks over there. Don't forget, if you want a discount on a bag, use my code MLR10. It'll get you 10% off of their products, and it helps out the channel a little bit, helps us keep bringing you great content. So guys, I appreciate you watching. Stay safe, keep shooting. Come back and see me next time, Midwest Long Range.